Blog Talk Radio. Oh, you're listening to the Samuel Brock Lynch Show on air. Hello, I'm Samuel Brock Lynn, and we have now Melissa Sue Lopez on air. How are you, Melissa? Hello. I'm doing really good. Uh, thank you so much for having me in your show. I'm very excited to talk to you about filmmaking. Yeah, thank you very much for listening and, or well, actually participating in our show. Um, we're, yeah, thank you. I'm going to pull some stuff out here that I would like to talk to you about. So, you're a producer, director, and writer. Tell us what you do. Yes, I'm a producer, director, and a screenplay writer. I have been doing it for the past 13 years, and I've been mean, having so much fun. Um, I had the opportunity to already uh, two films, Emotionis. It was it's my first feature length, and then Shutter Mind that we won an award, two awards last year at the Color Film Festival in Oklahoma City. That was the People's Choice Award and the Jury's Award. So we're doing pretty good. What would yeah, you like to know? Yeah, I see that as well. Um, uh, your what's your education as wise? What does it take to really be a filmmaker? Uh, it really takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of um, going to really go to different, uh, be part of different films, and really start from the bottom. You know, if there's all this kind of departments involved in the in the film industry and in making a movie. And I started when I was 21 years old. Um, I went to Oklahoma City Community College, and it was in Oklahoma City. And it was very exciting to know that one of my professors was Gray Frederickson. Gray Frederickson is uh, one of the producers of The Godfather. So I was very excited to have a class with him and for him to be my mentor. And the first semester, um, I put a team together of 30 students. And I was the only Latino uh, student there, so uh, we did our first short film called Shoot, Shoot Happens. And I remember it was so funny because uh, I couldn't believe, you know, I, I am from Mexico City. And when I came to the United States, I was uh, 14 years old, and the only words I could speak was yes and no. And then a few years later, I am, um, you know, producing uh, this film with, uh, a lot of American students and being the only Latino, and it was very exciting. So my career started there, and I remember one thing that was very cool was that, um, you know, the producer of Godfather was on my set, and there was not enough space, so I asked him if he can please be out of the, you know, out of the, the scene, and he looked at me, and he's like, okay, Melissa, absolutely. So I, I love that he respected me as a, as a student and as a filmmaker. And I will never forget that moment. And uh, from there on, I continued my studies and, you know, in camera work and screenwriting, uh, production design. And then I got the opportunity uh, the same year in, uh, to work with uh, Clonora Hudson Wims. Clonora Hudson Wims is one of the one of the best African American novelists of her time. And she's known uh, to be the number fifth in the world of people that really changed the life of other people. And I got the chance to, to work with her uh, in her and in our film now that's called The Whistle. Um, and it's about the story of Emmett Till, uh, the true catalyst of the civil rights movement. And through that, uh, I got the chance to work with this, uh, Oscar winner screenwriter Barry Morrow. Uh, he won the Oscar for Rain Man. So I, I, I was very blessed that God gave me those opportunities. And I've been working on this film. I'm the screenwriter, and I'm the producer. And um, it's been 10 years trying to make this film, and more because it's a true story of really what happened to Emmett Till 
if you don't know about Emmett Till, uh, in 1950, he got lynched by two white men. And so we have a lot of exclusives to really what happened uh, at that time. And so after that, that I work, um, I had the chance to, uh, to make my own films. I have produced, directed, director of photography in four short films. And then uh, eight years ago, I moved to New York City, and I did Emociones, my first feature-length film. And I was a producer-director. It was just me, one camera, and with a few actors. And uh, my work, it's very realistic. I like to, to use real people and also actors. And so I'm just very excited to be back again in New York City in order to get um, to secure distribution and uh, money for my next film, Deviance. And that's the next project I'm working on. And the other thing I can tell you that I was very excited is that um, last year I entered into a contest. It's a 48-hour contest, and it was all around the world. And, um, and so we were very blessed. Uh, that we got into the finalists. There were 500 people that signed, and you only get two days uh, to make a film, produce it, direct it, shoot it, everything in two days. And I was able to do it, and only 60 people of those 500 people were able to, you know, to finish their movie. And I was very happy that my film, The Limit, it's a documentary about my life, uh, made it in the top five finalists. And I was able to show my film and in England. So um, I'm a go-getter. Um, I think that everything is possible if you put your heart, mind, and soul. You know, you just have to work hard for it and not, never give up. So this that's a little bit of what I have done with, with my exactly. career. Excuse me? Yep. So, um, I said it sounds so like we, it. it. Sounds like it's a hard career. Yes, um, and to be honest, it's really tough. Uh, all these years, I never got paid. It's like um, I always did it for the love of the arts, uh, for the experience. So um, I think um, many filmmakers don't understand that um, it takes hard work. It's not like you just go and grab a camera and make a movie. You know, it's really the most important about making a film is that you have to really develop a very good story. You know, and from that good story, then you start hiring your DP, your directors, you know, everybody else. But uh, definitely the story is so important in order for you to make a difference in the film industry. So I, I, I keep working really hard on it, and I, I still keep learning. And uh, now that I'm in New York City with this new experience of, you know, trying to get distribution for my next film, I would like to let people know and filmmakers know that in order to really uh, distribution companies uh, to pay attention to you, um, you really have to have an agent or a lawyer and, and really have great connections. It's not like you just come to New York City, you show up, you know, at the place, and they say, yes, welcome. No, it's, it's you know, you have to go through different uh, different things in order to get to them. Do you have other questions for me? <laughs> um, no, not really, uh. I just thought it was uh, interesting about the film area, but I do not want to know what your honors and your skills are. Well, my skills, you know, to be in the film industry, you have to be very um, outgoing and really have um, it, it be driven and passionate. If you're not passionate enough, like, really don't do it. You know, uh, people are going to be nice and good, but some people are going to be ugly, and you have to have tough skin to accept it and really get their feedback. And uh, that's one of the things that happened to me uh, last year. I worked in a film called Injustice in Oklahoma City, and I, I was so excited to work with the director of photography, T. L. Smith. He has worked with Oliver Stone, and, um, and he was second DP in Any Given Sunday, 
And I wanted to work with him so bad that uh, I called and I was like, can I come and work on your department, you know, camera department? And I had the opportunity to be second AC. And what I loved about him is that he let us, like, be ourselves. And every time there was a scene or he was lighting a scene, he taught us what he was doing at that moment. And for me, that was incredible that I hope, you know, for my next films, I can do that for the upcoming new filmmakers to really help them to learn more about, you know, the camera work. And thank God, uh, uh, Keith L. Smith has agreed to make my movie, Deviance. So it's really good to have someone from his caliber to, to work on my next project. So for me, it's really go-getter. You know, what I can say to everybody is, like, go and knock some doors, you know, and the only thing they can say to you is no, but not to give up because there's always um, an opportunity and an open door, you know, that can that will help you. Uh, and like okay. I said to you, yeah, like I said to you, yeah. my skills, I, I, I have been a director of photography, I'm a writer. I have been, you know, as a grip, you know. So I have done every single position. The uh, department, the only department I have never been in, it's makeup and hair. I'm not the kind of uh, woman that puts a lot of makeup or fixes her hair or anything. I'm just a complete artist that I really don't mind too much about having perfect hair or makeup. So that will be the only department I have really haven't worked, you know, close and personal with. And uh, for my next, also for Deviance, I am so excited that, yes, go ahead. Um, the graphic design and Shutter Mind and, uh, and um, Monsu Productions, and uh, who, who does Monsu Productions belong to? Uh, Monsu Productions is the light of your dreams. Uh, uh, I am the CEO of the company. I am the one who owns it. And um, my company, uh, it's wanting new uh, and new filmmakers to come and join us and 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 be part of our company. Writers, directors, uh, directors of photography. I'm welcome for everybody to be part of the company in order for us to be successful. Um, Unsu Production also takes care of the art world, like in in the uh, paintings also photography, also music videos, and um, and music. Uh, many people don't know that I'm also a singer-songwriter, and uh, it's something that it, it, it's been part of my life. You know, when you come to the United States and the only words you can say yes or no, you know, you really get discriminated a lot. And I went through a lot of discrimination and music really... Oh, yeah. uh, I'm sorry? I said, like yeah, I've, re- I've heard a lot about that in the news lately. Yes, it's a lot of discrimination, but I think like so. any other musician, too, you kind of um, are, you know, my brother gave me a guitar, and I've been performing and singing and composing since I was 14. So um, it's been very excited to be a complete artist from head to toe and being able to do um, a any, you know, being able to do everything I want, but it's very important to have a very supporting family. My family, uh, they're the biggest support in my life, and they're the ones who have paid for everything for my movies. You know, they're the ones who came with craft service and fed my crew. So it wasn't for the help of my mom and my dad and my brothers and sisters. I wouldn't know be who I am right now in the film industry. I just want to let you know you have some really fantastic arts on your uh, your website. You have really some uh, detailings, good detailings, good um, good um, photo, good picture, all that. You actually have you actually have it right on the spot. I like your um, fine arts and your arts on here. Uh, that you have as well in your photos. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think 
Um, I'm the kind of director and the artist that I like to put raw and personal. My my type of filming, I, you know, they have told me that I'm very European, you know, in the way I film my things. And um, I remember a long time ago uh, when I presented Emociones here, uh, they called me the next Robert Rodriguez. And that was like a long time ago. And uh, that was kind of cool. Someone, you know, just called me that. And um, I just like to do great, great, great art. And and, and hopefully, you know, the film careers, it's it's Now, you tough, do a fantastic, but... phenomenal job. I'm you do sorry? a fanta- fantastic and phenomenal job. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. And uh, the whole thing is yep. that uh, what I can say to everybody, and even to you, thank you so much uh, for doing this for the artists to have this show because it's so essential for us, for someone to support us and believe in us and giving us this platform to share about our work. It's, it's, it's really necessary, and I really thank you for that. Uh, we artists do need this, and, and please, so, anybody so well. can say, you are so welcome. Thank you, and um, um, I, I bet you have a lot of people listening right now. And if if you have a script, if you have great ideas, please contact me. Go to MonsterProductions dot com. Send me an email, and um, you know I will be uh, I would love to help. For anything you need, just give me a, you know just send me an well, what email, is your and also and where can you. Yeah, my website is um, moonsuproductions.com, and uh, people can check my work. And, and also my personal, personal – I'm sorry? What's your personal website? Yeah, my personal wo- website, it's melissasulopez.com. So please, everybody, go and check my website. And also, if there's any investors – out there listening to the show, um, you know, I'm trying to raise money for my next film, Deviance. Uh, it's a great project. I had the opportunity to buy the rights of the novel uh, from a, a acclaimed writer from Oklahoma, Charles Martin and Willie Winkie. And uh, it's, um, it's, it's an incredible project. It's a dark comedy, and it's about um, the decisions we make as individuals and the decisions you make as a couple and where those decisions take you in your life. So I'm very, very excited about this project. So any investors up there, please send me an email, monsterproductions.com or melissasulopez.com. Uh, you can see that you can send me emails, and I can wait to talk to you. <laughs> and, yeah, I, I was just wondering – um yeah uh like what kind of um what is your network through or associated with a uh, network what do you mean network like the people i work with um yeah yeah other people other associations you're with who what yeah. other places are I'm- you with too as well uh, right now, you know, I had the opportunity to work with a lot of companies, and uh, they were small projects, and there were big projects, but I really just want to focus on my company and focus on my work, and uh, I am so excited that in Oklahoma City, we have a great community of filmmakers, and I have the opportunity to work with um, most of them, and they, they, you know, they support me, and we support each other, and um, I have the opportunity to work with a lot, you know, of American and Latino filmmakers, and um, it, it's just that I'm. What can I say to you? The network, you know, one of the things people ask me, um, Melissa, you have a lot of connections. Why you don't use those connections, right? And I'm the kind of person that, okay, yes, I have great yeah. mentors. You, um, I have also my mentor. Her name is Stephanie Claxton. She was an accountant in Hollywood for more than 30 years. She did the, uh, She was an accountant for Robocop, Jingle the Way, Broken Arrow, uh, Predator, Terminator, like all of those films. And 
And people are like, why don't you use your connections? Or also, I know the director of Children's of the Corn, Fritz Kirsch. And I was like, you know what? It's like they're my mentors. Uh, and Stephen what I want to do. That, that's a Stephen King movie. Children of the Corn is. That's a Stephen King movie. I, I recognize yes. him very much. I'm, I'm kind of a. Uh, I like his films, but they're kind of disturbing at the same time. But um, yeah. <laughs> and they're supposed to be, but. I'm just saying that his films are like a mind blower in a way, if you get what I mean on that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he, like the movie It, for example, I've I, I've actually seen it, but um, I'm kind of like a scary movie fan, anyways. But yeah, it's <laughs> in, it's interesting part. It's inter- it blows your mind too. But, you know, because it doesn't exactly make sense, too, at the same time, but it does. It, but it does, but it don't, I guess yeah. you'd say. So, yeah, <laughs> I see what you Yeah, that's one of those great arts. Yeah, and Fritz Kirsch, it's an amazing, uh, like, person in general, you know. He, he was one of my professors, too, when I started the film you know, going to school and everything. And uh, the other person, um, it's um, I had the opportunity to work with Eugenio Derbez. I don't know if you have heard of instructions not included. Um, he broke the records. He, with his movie, he broke records in the United States as the the number one Mexican film of all, all times. Like, he filled those theaters. And then in Mexico, too, he broke records. And I had the opportunity to work with Eugenio Derbez, and he's an incredible director and incredible actor that so many Latinos in the United States love. He he's an he's a comedian actor too, but now he's producing, directing, and writing. And Eugenio Derbez, um, I was his assistant director for his debut in of uh, Broadway, um, in Historia um, en la Vega la más. Uh, en la bella, en la bella y la muy bestia, and um, he really has opened doors for for the Latino community. So I, I was just so happy and so blessed that I had the opportunity to meet him, to be his assistant, uh, as, you know, in his play. And I I can wait to you know be able to hopefully one day um, see him again, and and for him to be part of my next film too. So I'm just so blessed and excited that I got the chance to to really work with very talented people and actors too. And I'm just happy what his movie has done. Tell your connection and, and that you have. Um, tell your pe- tell other people about our show, and uh, and tell others uh, like real big actors and stuff like Arnold and uh, Stephen King if you get to tell him. Uh, I'd like to <laughs> love to have him on the show and talk about his movies because I real I real his movies are very very interesting. So too. Yes, so, they are. <laughs> yeah, I would like to have him on and tell him tell him I want him you know, on our uh, show sometime if possible and tell yeah, others can, about it. I can help you. Yes, whatever I can help you, I'll, I will definitely let them know. And um, like again, thank you so much for this opportunity. And um, and I just like don't, all the filmmakers out there don't give up really. And and whatever I can do, like I said, just send me an email and I will be able to assist anybody and to help anybody. Is that is, is there yeah. anything you want to know about the and, film industry? Yeah. Just contact Melissa or or uh, somebody you know or connections. Yeah, or they can just contact you too, and you know you can send me the emails. Or you know, thank you so much for this opportunity. And like, whenever you need something, you know, uh, if I'm able to help you out, I will definitely do that for you. Yeah, I think I have a friend of mine, uh, Christopher Free, which is a uh, producer of my show now for a while. He's helping our show. So I'm going to 
uh, he's like our producer and show agent. So uh, I was going to say that he will be up there in New York uh, doing his tennis film that he'll be doing. And uh, it's under $2 million that he's going to try to do. So um, I was going to say maybe you can help him out or something. Uh, I could give him yeah. cont- uh I could give contact informa- information and uh he can get help through there maybe. Yeah, that that that's so. I can do that. And like, you know, raising ten million dollars that's a lot of money. So uh I wish him luck on that because it's it uh, you know, um you have to have an amazing story and you have to have like also, what investors want for for filmmakers if if there's any a star attached to their project, you know, uh, sometimes you have to have um, famous people attached in order for investors to give you money. So that's that's probably something maybe he can you know think about and what kind of starts they already said yes to him in order to also help him raise the ten million dollars. Yeah, and I hope he – and I think he's going to run some campaigns, and I'm going to try to help him too on that and uh, see what I can uh, do. Um, I, I want to try to help him because he's helped me, so, you know, I kind of owe him a favor on that. Yeah, so like, I, I know like, some like people said- that can – like he's a couple of actors and a bunch of people, so – I mean, I can get him some people. Well, awesome. Awesome, because also, like, so. uh, the new thing is start raising money through the, you know, Internet and all the websites, like Indiegogo, and uh, I don't remember the name of the other one, but there's a, there's a few websites that, you know, you can use to raise money. You can use Kickstarter or GoFundMe.com or something like that. Uh, yes, that was the other one I was saying, Kickstarter. Yes. Yeah, that that would be great. That would be great to use. So, <clears throat> anyways, we've got two minutes left. So, okay. um, so what do you want to talk about next for a short minute? And uh, well, um. You know, um, no matter your, um, no matter who you are, no matter your social standards, no matter, um, you know, if you have money or don't have money, don't don't really give up. You know, if you're talented and you have passion and you're driven, like I said, everything is possible. And I really wish the best to all the filmmakers out there trying to make it. And you know, I want you to know that I'm one of yours. Uh, I'm one of you, and um, um, it's a struggle, but I'm still here, and I, I'm still fighting for my dreams and my goal. My dad told me I'm going to end with this. My dad, Rafael Lopez Marinchel, told me I will be very disappointed when you give up on your dream. And so sometimes I feel like giving up. Sometimes I feel like doors close everywhere, but. I keep thinking about what my dad said, and I definitely don't want to disappoint him, you know. And I I came knowing yes or no. I'm an immigrant, and um, I I, I was able to make a lot of things possible. So thank you so much for just listening to my interview and for having me in your show. Thank you, Melissa Sue Lopez, um, for having you on. And uh hope you have a good day and I'll I'll uh talk to you probably again um sometime and uh Yes, definitely we'll put this interview all over our news networking sites and try to get it in the news. We're we're part of the news team as well. But anyways, uh we'll we'll try to get your interview out there and get, get your voice heard. Wonderful. We we in the next year or so, I can tell you about my you know about deviants had did a go and everything which actors we had. So, um, thank you so much again. I do appreciate this time. 
Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello, Samuel Park Play Show. We'll be in.